We are different. Society should aspire to be more like us. Be part of the first class. Get energized. Get outside. Hold on, guys. It's gonna get bumpy. And get moving. Experience the power of physical activity. <laughs> Join the movement at actionheroalliance.com. Welcome to This Week with Sheriff Dave Phelan, weekly program right here on LSN Television, also carried on a number of our radio affiliates throughout uh, the Lancaster and Fairfield County area. I do appreciate you, the viewers and listeners that join us each and every week, and certainly all the nice uh, comments we get about this program. And I don't want to forget to thank, so, to thank uh, the folks over at Fairfield Christian Academy, all the students that produce this program each and every week, and a number of them here in the studio today. And it certainly uh, is a blessing to me to have them as part of our, uh, our group. And certainly they do it without any charge to, uh, to uh, the community, so it's a great program. This week, uh, we're, we're going to change things up a little bit. Typically, we have uh, guests from, from within the Fairfield County Sheriff's Office and community leaders. Uh, this week, we're going to have our uh, Lieutenant Alex Lape, who recently became the uh, commander of our road division, uh, and he's going to be talking a little bit about that next week. But this week, um, the lieutenant and I were talking, I don't know, last week about your son, actually, and some interesting things that he's been doing, and it kind of fascinated me since uh, he's uh, 10 years old and already into the high-tech stuff. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, been running his own little uh, podcast radio show, so, so uh, yeah. it's pretty interesting to me, and uh, I was impressed with his uh, natural kind of knack that he seemed to have for that. Yeah, and if you're like me, uh, you know, I'm really kind of, I'm stuck somewhere in the 70s, you know, I'm still got my 8-track, but Tyler, glad to see you, glad to have you with us today, and um, so tell us a little bit about this podcast that you do and how you got the idea to do it. Um, well, the idea is kind of, it's a funny story because um, it all started out when I had gotten bored and on my iPod, I had just started searching what I'm interested in, which is like broadcasting stuff, so... Um, it was funny because I was like, well, I'm just going to type that in. So then all of a sudden I see Spreaker, and then I um, pull it up, and then it says, you can broadcast your own radio. And I'm like, you don't see that every time you search something. So then um, I download it, and I try, and then I um, do a little broadcast. But then afterwards, I'm kind of like, that's different. But then I noticed that you could actually turn the mic on and off. So then I started to do radios. From tr I started to do a radio talk show, and um, it's called the TJL Talk, and it's on Spreaker. And so far, I have 600 and some viewers, and I have 10 followers, and 20 some or 30 some people have downloaded it. Really? So is that? Have you gotten anything back from any of the folks you're out uh, broadcasting to? Um, not really, but um, I said you can send emails and like some of the worst, like some of the most embarrassing moments, and I could share them. Okay. To get like a laugh going. Okay. So that's kind of neat. So you started that, and is that what you eventually want to do? Maybe go into broadcasting or something like that, or radio or television? Mm-hmm. It, uh, um, it kind of interested me when I went on with Dallas and um, his uh, co-host, Lin Miss Linda, um, because they had all these gizmos and they were pressing them, but I mean, all I have to do is either press a sound effect button or hit the music button and then choose a track. Okay, and so how do you get ideas about your programs? Um, I kind of take it from how many viewers I've included, like if it was from like a funny thing that I had said in there or if it was a funny animation, because like I, um, I have this little cartoon chipmunk I use, and it, and I call, and I always say, well, 
even though we did kick him off, Chippy's back. Okay. But um, it's kind of funny because most of the viewers, I'll pay attention to what they view so I know what to put more of in. Yeah, and you know, that's funny. When I was about your age, I, uh, and this goes back a long, long way, but we actually had what we call an 8-millimeter camera. And so a friend of mine and myself, we saved up, bought an 8-millimeter camera, and actually made some movies back then. And it's, it's going back a long, long way, and I still have some of those. So, so that's really neat. Well, let's switch subjects a little bit and talk a little bit about safety as they uh, involve uh, children and things like that. And, um, and I think that's an appropriate topic today, uh, especially with you, uh, you here. And I'm going to just ask you a couple questions on what happens like if a stranger would approach you and maybe say, you know, you need to get in my car, your, uh, your mom or dad wanted me to come and get you. How do you handle those things? Um, usually you would run to the nearest adult or if like you were trained. Okay. You might like use like a stunning tactic okay and then just go away as fast as you can wow stunning tactic that sounds like your dad he's a he's our SWAT commander you know that don't you mm -hmm. yeah he taught me a few things what did he teach you um how to knock somebody out and per, and i actually taught myself all the pressure points in the body okay well that's good yeah. so that's a good so, so if someone approaches you and i guess we'll make sure that if there's kids watching or parents out there make sure that you're make sure number one that your kids understand how to react mm -hmm. if a stranger does approach them and what to do if that's them. you say run away and uh, now what if someone would grab you like that you pull uh, away yell scream you would actually yell help and then um you would um Try to break free. Okay, and run. But and I think that's absolutely right. You never want to go, and you try to break away. You yell, scream, try to draw some attention to yourself, and I think that's absolutely right. Now, the other thing is, I understand that uh, you had some experiences with use, calling nine one one. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was really little. Okay, so we won't <laughs> we won't hold that again against you. Of course, almost every. Um, year we'll get a lot of 911 calls sometimes from kids but again that's something that the children are never as soon as they understand how to use the phone they should understand if something bad happens at home and there's some kind of emergency uh, how to dial that 911 call yeah we went to a, a, a the adventures and safety program that we put on years back and uh, he was there and uh, evidently it left a good uh, a good impression on him because when he got home that weekend he was practicing uh, to call 911 uh, because he wanted to talk to the dispatcher that did the presentation at the fairgrounds. So it, now, as part of Adventures of Safety, that's something we did a few years ago. What are some other things that maybe I I missed that we want to talk to uh, when we're talking about children's safety, uh, when we talk about uh, age appropriateness? And you know, sadly, uh, I've seen times when. Um, kids not too much older than Tyler are actually dropped off at the mall. Right. They roam around over there and then their parents will come back and pick them up a, right. a few hours later. Yeah, that's probably not the use of uh, good judgment, leaving your 12-year-old or 10-year-old at the mall alone. Uh, there's a, anytime you leave a child that, that young unattended, you know, the possibility of something bad happening could, could occur. Um, some of the other things that we talked about at the, uh, or, or taught at the, uh, that program, uh, water safety, uh, we had uh, we did fire safety, what to do in the event that there may be a fire in your home. Um, we we uh, it's just a, it was a, just a general safety program that covered pretty much anything at the bicycle safety, just anything in general that, that that child may encounter in their youth. And we might also mention that if there's any organizations out there, whether it's a civic organization, a church organization, uh, any type of group. If anyone's interested, uh, members of the Fairfield County Sheriff's Office will be glad to come out and put on a presentation, talk about some of our safety mm -hmm. programs that we do. And you did that for years. I did. I did. I had a good time doing that. I got to meet a lot of people. Yeah. And um, the other thing coming up is uh, you were promoted to our uh, road commander, mm -hmm. and uh, that takes uh, goes into place uh, almost immediately. Yeah. But the other thing you are is our SWAT commander. Yes. And... Um, Typically, as the SWAT commander, let's talk a little bit about the about the SWAT team, and we'll get back to you for a few minutes here, Tyler, as we kind of wrap things up. What are uh, some of the duties of our SWAT team here in Fairfield County? Well, our SWAT team, our SWAT team in, in the county here, um, 
we serve high risk warrants. We respond to hostage barricade situations. Uh, we will do dignitary protection. Uh, probably the, the bulk of the, the tasks that we have are high, high risk warrant service. Um, there's a lot of uh, training. We train on a monthly basis. Uh, as the SWAT team commander, you know, I have to make sure that our training is meaningful and, and that uh, it comes to a particular point and that there's an, uh, an end to the training, that insight, an, an end outcome. Um, also required to uh, outfit, you know, make sure, kind of like the mother hen yes. the group. Yeah, okay. to make sure everybody has clean socks and, and, and stuff like that. And this, so. this program is taped ahead, but actually you just came from a situation where you were doing a number of search warrants and arrest warrants in, in the Fairfield Beach area on narcotics-related offenses, right? Yes, we did. It, it was a com combined effort with the Major Crimes Unit, the Lancaster uh, Police Department SRT team, and uh, our patrol officers and our scrap team even was involved in that. And uh, we did uh, uh, two two search warrants and multiple arrest warrants in, uh, in the early morning hours. Um, and uh, I think uh, there was four or five people taken into custody at a, as a result of that. So great job by the major crimes unit and our, and our scrap team. Yeah, yeah. Tyler, getting back to you as uh, remaining times, what's it like to be the, the son of uh, somebody that's a, a law enforcement officer? Do, do you ever worry about him, or does he uh, give you some good advice now and then? Um, I mean, sometimes depending on, like, how the looks are, because, like, one time the person was missing a few fingers, and I'm like, uh... That's just a little, it makes it, because like it makes a person, depending on their looks, it makes it look like they've done things like crazy things. Yeah, well, you know, it, being a, a police officer's son or a family member can be tough sometimes because they work a lot of different hours and, and uh, it can be dangerous. Do you worry about your dad sometimes or do you feel pretty good that everything's going to be okay every day? Um, a little bit of both. A little like, bit of both. Um, usually if it's around at night, that's when I get a little worried because, like, you don't have the same, ex you don't have, like, the same coverage. Right, right, right. Absolutely. That's a good answer. That's a good answer. Tyler, we do appreciate you being with us uh, here today, and that's, uh, that's really neat. And, um, if, uh, someone wants to see your podcast, uh, how do they go about that? Um, all right. So what you would do is you would... This is available on most like mobile devices. Okay. And and computers. Well, um, you would go into like you would go into the app store if you have like a phone or a tablet. Then you would go and you would type in Spreaker, and then you would um, tap on Spreaker um, radio. And then after that, you would hit search at the after like it's downloaded, and then. I'll, and then you load in the app. So then you would go in, and you would hit search, and then you would hit user, and then you would type in Tyler, or you would hit you could hit um, podcast, and then you could type in the TJL talk, and um, then you would see a picture of a little um, a baby collie on the as a picture, and then it would say um, the talk, the TJL talk, and then. Um, I might have new episodes, but sometimes I'll stay out for a little bit. But anyways. Um, that's how you get there to it. See? Mm -hmm. All right. Boy, that's uh, anyway. step by step. <laughs> that's, that's step by step. Yeah. Hey, I appreciate you being here with us, Tyler. And uh, you'll be back with us next week to yes, talk sir. a little bit about what the patrol unit does uh, and what's uh, some things coming up as far as uh, you, how you envision the patrol unit functioning in the months and years to come. And uh, congratulations. Uh, Thank you. Uh, lieutenant was just promoted within the last couple of weeks to a lieutenant within the sheriff's office. Actually, uh, the first group of lieutenants I made, and he was actually the first sergeant that I yes. made when I became sheriff. Uh, so so kind of kind of a neat time. And your brother was promoted. He was. Part of that. He was. Well, the clock on the wall says we've got to go. I do appreciate you, the viewers and listeners, and again, the folks here at Fairfield Christian Academy, J.T. Burchin, all the students that helped put this program together. Until next week, same time, same place, this is yours truly, Sheriff Dave Phelan. God bless, buckle up, and we'll see you right here next week.
It's always nice to come home, but many Americans are at risk of foreclosure and losing their homes. Making Home Affordable from the U.S. government has already helped over a million struggling homeowners like these. The sooner you act, the better chance we can help you. I'm home. I'm home. Where I be.